Hey guys, so we made it to the beach, Santa Monica Beach, my home away from home. But one negative so far is that the ankle biter mosquitoes are over here. What the hell? So I'm gonna have to cover up because I don't want them to scar me the way they did the other day. Let me show you. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. Look how they scar me up the other day at my house. Uh-uh. They're flying around. And there's one transient sleeping over there. And there might be one there. Not sure. Next time we have, we're gonna have to get a tent. Um, we are, let me show off Gary's blanket. Again, this is listed in the description of my videos. Let me get up and show you guys this. Joe, you can't sing, it's copyright infringement. This is Gary's blanket, go buy it. The link is in the description. And look at the beautiful waves. Let's walk over there. Ooh. Damn! <laughs> Damn, that's cold, guys. And here's my boo. My birthday wouldn't be no fun without my boo. Huh? I wet my feet already early in the morning. It's cold. <laughs> you know I don't like cold water. I'm telling them my birthday wouldn't be no fun without my boo. So I have another hat here. Joe's gonna go wet his feet. I'm already sitting. Ooh, The younger boy is teaching the older man how to do the surfing. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that because I would not be able to get up. It's a rough day with the waves today because it's coming in close already, early in the morning. Look guys, Joe brought a chair this time. <laughs> he says that his booty and his back hurts when he sits on the sand. Me, I'll sit on the sand and make a hole. Make a hole with my booty and sit in that hole and then I'm okay. But I want to stay long today so I want Joe to be comfortable. So uh, my birthday twin is Halle Berry. I don't know that I'm a great fan of Halle Berry, but she's my twin. Same day, same month, same year. I was born at 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday. So my mom said. Um, another person that shares a birthday with me is Magic Johnson. I don't know the year though. And um, my sister's mother-in-law shares my birthday too. So we brought fried chicken that Joe made this morning, uh, chicken breast strips. I made sandwiches from the baguettes from that video that I posted last. Um, I brought a piece of the chocolate cake, one piece each for us, a small piece because the cake was small. Um, that's from the video too that I, the last video I posted, well the last live that I did. And then I brought a piece of the carrot cake. And what else did I bring? I said sandwiches from the baguette, right? The vegetables cut up and some grapes. I don't bring watermelon to the beach because the sand gets over it and it's really nasty to eat. Plus all that water is gonna um, let me go to the bathroom and I don't wanna go to the bathroom till it's time to leave because I don't wanna go over there by myself. So, this area where we are is right like in front of where Jada used to sing, but all the way down by the, by the water, of course, but she used to sing like all the way back there. Uh, we're not bringing her this year because it's still too scary with you know what in town still. I wanted to have a party because it's a big number, you know, 55, double nickel, but because of the C19 and because of the way the jabs work to where you can still get it, you know, and you can still spread it to the people who didn't have the jab, and half my family didn't get it, I don't wanna take a risk with people's lives or my life. So I'd rather sit out here. I brought my mask, if it gets too crowded, I'll put it on, but I only put it on when we're walking to the car. When we're out here, I don't put it on out here, so. 
anyways i'll be back when it's serving time unless something else exciting happened i'll be back when it's food time okay let me show you my bags so me and joe made this bag a while back and it has all the features that i like for the beach but it's not big enough so jory bought me this bag for my birthday i'm gonna do a review on this for amazon see kind of the same design and everything but it's made with the windbreaker type stuff okay and i have this hat this is my beach bag it's old i wish i could find one to replace it but i can't find one just like it the fried chicken is here this is the chocolate cake in case bella comes i brought her some cake this is me and joe's cake then on the bottom here we have ice in the thingy okay. and this is where we have the sandwiches and the um, carrot cake and the vegetables and the fruit got to close it up quick to keep it cool and then on the front here it has where you can put your utensils and plates and stuff like that see I really wish I could replace this but I can't find one like it, it has a pocket over here so um, this is our plate that we're making I'm gonna put some of these vegetables in here so we have our grain we have some protein in here some protein some vegetables and then we have that fruit right so we're ready so I've got my plate got to eat it fast before the sand gets on it <laughs> and Joe is eating over there I'm in the middle of editing my birthday beach vlog but I wanted to pause right here to just kind of give you guys some context before I show the next segment all right so we got to the beach early um, we left here early and we got there early because it was the weekend and I was afraid we wouldn't find parking in the parking lot that we like to park at so we got there we got the like the second to the last parking and then we went and sat on the sand we set up our little umbrella everything and then i recorded the segment for the amazon uh, review the beach bag and then i recorded all the stuff you already saw with the food we made our platter and everything right when we made our plate this family came and set up shop right next to us it was an indian family they could have been pakistani i don't know but they were pleasant enough but why did they have to come so close to me right when the beach was still empty at that point i'm like to just go down more i mean even before the C-19, I think people like to clutter too closely together, right? So it was the mom, the dad, what seemed to be like an older teenage daughter and two young uh, boys, a set of twin boys. Those little twin boys were doing what little babies like to do at the beach, mess with the sand. So the sand was flying everywhere on top of my food. So we had to like cover our food <laughs> with paper towel while we just kind of went under and kind of grabbed the stuff. Thank goodness I took everything that was like finger foods, right? So every now and again, I would crunch some sand and I was, I was like getting madder and madder. <laughs> so then the dad pulls out a lawn chair. No, Joe had a chair there, but Joe's chair was lower to the ground, right? And then he kind of did a hole in the sand to make it even go lower because you don't want to block people from seeing the water, you know, the people that gets behind you. So I, I guess that's why I don't understand the people who takes the tents. I mean, the tents are nice, but you're blocking everybody else from seeing the water if they're going to sit behind you, right? So this guy pulls out a lawn chair and he sits there tall like the king of his domain and I can't see nothing. That's what I go to the beach for. I go to, to the beach for the sand, for the waves, the water, the, the wind, the atmosphere and to see the people. I love people at the beach. I like when they're wearing their two-piece bikini even if they don't fit in it. I don't care. I like to see people. <laughs> I'm a people watcher. So he was blocking me from everything and they were like right up on us. And I told you, man, I wish I had a broom because if you guys are from Belize, I don't know if other Caribbean countries believe in these myths. You know, it's not really voodoo or obi or what. It's their little myths. And I said, I wish I had a broom. I wish I had a makeup brush. I wish I had something that I could turn up and you know just let them leave right and so Joel says I'm gonna do it with your shoe and so this is the segment that you're gonna see right now let me play the segment let me play the segment you guys Joe is doing I don't voodoo. have salt I have salt so. Joe, Joe did do obia <laughs> Joe don't have no broom for turn up say turn up they turn on but you turn on the shoe then you put up the fog and where they put no sun so, put the sun no. put the sun I'll show you why he's doing this Right. He wants these people to leave. He wants those people to leave because they're throwing sand everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, within like 58 minutes, those people packed up and left. <laughs> 
Let me come back and show you them leaving. See? Look, guys, the people gone. I'm gonna drop um, the timestamp to see how long it took for them to leave. I'm showing. I've got Bella here with me, but she don't want to be on camera, okay, guys? But she did come to meet me for my birthday. It's empty. They're gone. At first, they went and they sat right there by the water, away from their stuff, and then they just boom left and i'm like oh my god joe what did you do oh my god that was so funny at the same time bella arrived so i wanted to shout out bella because bella arrived to come spend a little bit of my birthday with me bella wanted to come see jada when she was singing at the beach but at that time she didn't have transportation so now she made an effort and she came for my birthday and i'm glad that she came and we spent a good couple of hours together and so um bella didn't want to be seen on camera sadly bella you're gonna have to get over that because you're beautiful okay so anyways bella came so that was nice and then i got a lot of birthday well wishes you guys might think that when you say happy birthday i wish you many more i wish you prosperity i wish you this you might think those are just wishes but to me they're not wishes they're blessings they're prophetic blessings that you have spoken over me all right so i got a lot of that from facebook instagram youtube every place sales and i had people that actually donated monetary gifts you know like uh, my friend cindy and dave uh shanika my aunt jenny wills i hope why did i do that because i'm gonna miss somebody sandra sandra paid for me to put gas in the truck and pay the parking for me to go to the beach you know so i i don't take that lightly somebody else gave something i don't remember who now though please forgive me if anything i'll say it in the next video okay i don't like doing that because sometimes i'll forget if i didn't write it down but i really do appreciate that because times are hard right now and for you to give me any type of donation even if it's a, even if it's a five dollar gift that's a big deal to me and I'm going to put all the money together and I'm going to see if I can buy a gaming laptop, you know, a regular um, Windows PC so that I can do the live events from the kitchen, the live cooking shows because I can't use the desktop because I can't move that thing around. That's where I have my accounting program. I can't mess up that desktop and the laptop that I'm using from Joe right now, it's working, but you guys know it's kind of, you know, lame because it's a cheapo laptop. I'm kind of praying and hoping that Canon will update the, um, what do they call that thing? It's not a driver, an application. What is that thing called? A utility. I hope that Canon will update the utility. You know that ice cream truck is going to get me demonetized, right? Crap. Hold on, let him go. Okay, he's not coming down the street yet, so let me hurry. Yeah, all that stuff gets you demonetized. I was watching another lady today uh, speak with your girl, Marcella, and she was having her big birthday bash. Today her, today is her birthday, and somebody came in and said, I'm going to play a song that you know my friend just wrote, and she's singing it, and the song's not copywritten anywhere, and it's going to be safe for you to play. Don't do that. If you're a YouTube content creator and you're watching me, don't do that, because eventually those people will copyright that song, and if it takes them 10 years to copyright it, YouTube will come back 10 years later and, and not just demonetize the video, but they will give you a copyright strike. You know, when I play Jada's music and stuff, I don't put money on it. I don't turn on the commercials. If you see commercials play on it, it's because YouTube is playing the commercial and giving the money to Jada, which she never gets. We're going to get into that another time because of TuneCore and the way they use their payout thing or whatever. Anywho, um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. My, 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 my husband and my children, they really gave me some really meaningful gifts. Joe got me a memory card for the camera because I'm always running out of memory. Um, <clears throat> he got me a, a, a cast iron skillet 6x2. I know I was looking at that next lady, Marcel, and her husband gave her a diamond ring. That stuff doesn't impress me. <laughs> the jewelry that I have is from mommy. And I treasure all this. Joe can't give me any jewelry. Well, he gave me this. I like this. Can you see it? Can you see it? When I get up, I'll show you. It's a, it's a bicycle brooch. So he can't really give me any gifts that gonna have the same meaning like what mommy left me with you know what i mean so but i told him i would like some bicycle stuff because i like dragonfly stuff too anyways um so he gave me three items jory gave me the big beach bag and i did a review on that already oh i'm gonna play that review at the end okay so wait till the end and then uh joshua gave me that slim wallet and jada gave me another bigger wallet and those are really meaningful gifts to me I, I really appreciate it okay so um let's get back into the video just a little bit more left i want you to see this dog that's running in the water i kind of tried to zoom in but people were in the way and um at the very end i will play the video that i made for amazon about the beach bag okay thank you guys for watching this video and um there's only a few minutes left to the end and then i'll be back on tuesday 
with a live cooking show again and hopefully we'll have a guest that's cooking live with me that's what we're gonna start doing okay I, did, I said that in another live event uh, right before this video so let's get back into the video give me a couple more minutes we'll play the Amazon commercial and then I'll see you guys on Tuesday <laughs> coming to the beach and because it's my birthday my son bought me this beautiful beach bag right here behind me hey guys Barbara here from the bear panther show that can be seen on YouTube and Facebook now let's take a look at this bag it's an oversized bag with this beautiful cotton rope handle the size is 22 wide by 15 tall by 6 deep so it can hold quite a bit so take a look inside, it has this zippered pocket that you can put a slim wallet and a couple of masks and then this pocket right here for you to put your cell phone and maybe the slim wallet again and then the side pockets for your water bottles and it can hold two water bottles and then it has this quick release thing here for you to put your keys this is on one side of the zipper and then on the other side we have this a bottle opener, yes so now it has a zippered enclosure Look at the handles again they're so soft so it also came with this thing this waterproof thing to put your cell phone in so a lot of things come with this bag all right now it's time to leave the beach so let's pack up i have my beach towel my blanket well this is the towel to spread on the sand right and then this is the towel to wipe off after i come out of the water and it can actually fit another towel and I have the paper tissue. Let me put this cell phone in here. And then I'm gonna grab my sombrero, put the elastic through the handle, and then we're ready to go home. Make sure you pick up several right here from my Amazon store and tell them Barbara from the Bear Pantry Show sent you. Remember guys, we're not buying this book. Why? Because my distributor is ripping me off and not paying me any of my royalties. So for this reason, I redid the book that's being sold on Amazon and I made this book. I removed a bunch of the recipes from the first book because I did not deem them to be authentically Belizean enough. And I put a bunch of brand new recipes in here. So you're going to get more for your money, okay? So when you buy this book, you're going to find that the recipes are very easy to understand and the dishes are going to come out perfect the very first time. So this book was made in 2018. In the middle of the pandemic in 2020, I made this book the pantry laid bare and this is restaurant quality no no not restaurant quality better than restaurant quality meals at home now in 2021 I have my brand new book this one's called no more leftovers why because I reduced some of the recipes from this book some of the recipes from this book and I put a bunch of brand new recipes in there but they're all small batches all right now to purchase all you have to do is visit my website www.bearpantryshow.com you can shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com yeah.